This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com, your one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. Well, greetings and welcome to another one of our videos. Today, I want to talk about video editing and video content creation. Now, when I'm recording live on tape like I am right now, uh, I use OBS and I've got my scene set up and I use my stream deck and I've talked about that before. Well, when I'm doing asynchronous video, stuff that I need to edit together and uh, really you know hone down and on and produce, uh, there's a whole bunch of options. And historically, the program I had been using was Shotcut. It had a fairly... Uh, um, reasonable learning curve. It was fairly powerful, but there was stuff that it just couldn't do. Well, I started up with a program called DaVinci Resolve, and I would urge you to take a look at this one. This is not going to be an in-depth tutorial in DaVinci Resolve, although it does a bunch of things really well. Uh, color correction, uh, audio editing, and things like that are great. Well, I stumbled upon a feature that really solved a problem for me that I had been having for a while. And the kinds of videos that I like to make, uh, it, for example, over on the Drums West side, of things I've been doing some drum videos with Peter uh, is multiple cameras in one single audio source and we recently did a video on Samba where I recorded the audio into the uh, Zoom F3 and then I had two iPhones doing uh, the camera angles and the problem with that is you need to align your tracks to be able to edit it because you want your audio and your video uh, all of it to be in the same spot well in Shotcut, that was a challenge, and I ended up you know, either creating some kind of an artifact, you know, clapping or something like that to align it to, or just a lot of trial and error. But DaVinci Resolve solves this problem really, really easily. So let's jump over onto the DaVinci Resolve side of things, and uh, we will take a look at what I've got going on here. Now, this again, this is not going to be a completely immersive tutorial. This is just to solve this one specific problem. So over here in uh, my media clips, I have uh, my two video sources and my audio, and I'm going to put them in here on the timeline. It doesn't really matter where they go, and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, so I got that one in there, I got that one in there, and then this is going to be my audio from uh, that I recorded in the Zoom. And I want these all in their separate tracks. Now, you'll notice... Um, you, you can see what's going on. So video one and audio one are aligned together and they're actually linked. And uh, video two and audio two, same thing. And then audio three, which has no video with it, it's on its own. We're gonna use this all to our advantage. Now, if I do a control A and select, well, first of all, I'll demonstrate for you what I'm talking about with uh, this being a problem with the track aligned. If I come over, for example, I can't complain about that. Sure. Yeah. All right, let me sure. Sure. It's a mess. Nothing is lined up. So all the audios are off. The videos aren't together. And this, frankly, would take a little while to fix, um, barring you know something that I could glom onto between all of them. So with the Control A, so I've got all my tracks selected. I do a right click anywhere, and there's this awesome feature here called Auto Align Clips. Now. If I had done everything with a time code starting at zero, starting everything at the same time and syncing it, I could use that. I didn't do that. Uh, but there's a, a line based on waveform. Well, when I'm recording with the iPhones as my video cameras, it's also recording the audio, as you can see here. I'm not going to use that audio uh, in the final production, but I can use it for this feature. So check this out. So if I do a line clips based on so now DaVinci Resolve is analyzing those waveforms. They're linked up to their respective video clips. And after it's done doing that, it's going to find waveforms in common and align the tracks based off of that. This is useful because I'm in a small room. There's not a huge delay uh, from being a distance away from it or anything like that. And the quality of the audio doesn't really matter um, on the two iPhones. What really matters is on the Zoom F3. But it gives me something that this all can align to. So check this out. Now I'll go a little bit further when we've actually begun the video. Nest and showing you some quick uh, samba things today, some ideas for samba. Look on YouTube or wherever you look. There's a million videos about samba. So if I mute uh, out thanks for checking video this track. One. If I mute out that video track, you can see the audio is aligned to both of those, and now everything is together. Now what we can do. Uh, to get rid of those audio tracks that we don't want. I could mute them if I wanted to, and there's reasons to do that. Um, but the other quick option here, uh, if I actually control A, so select all my clips, right clip, link clips, and the, unlink all these clips. So those, uh, those chain links are gone because if we link them, when we delete the audio track, it'll delete the video track as well. We don't want that. But now I can come here, click on that audio track, do a control X, bang, that's gone. 
grab this one, do a control X, that's gone too. And then now we've got these empty tracks, everything's a little spaced out. We go right click over here anywhere on the, uh, on the audio and video side of things, delete empty tracks, bang. So now I've got two perfectly aligned video tracks that are uh, synced up to my audio track. And now I can do my edits with my uh, crossfades or anything that I really wanna do with that. And I don't have to worry about trying to get, you know, Peter's uh, playing or his lips aligned back onto uh, what you're going to hear on the audio. So super, super useful feature. I love it. Uh, check out DaVinci Resolve. It's a free piece of software. Um, follow the QR code or just do a, a search for DaVinci Resolve. You'll see it there. Check it out. Give it a try with your uh, video editing and uh, let me know what you think. Um, throw some comments down there. If you've got some questions with it, I'm still learning this program, but it's super powerful and definitely worth the effort uh, and the learning curve uh, to put this into your bag of tricks because it's going to save you a ton of time. And the results are going to be fantastic. So like, share, subscribe, check out the other videos in the channel, and we will catch up with you next time. If you're facing a unique problem with podcasting or remote learning, we can help. Reach out to us at thepodcastingstore.com and we'll see what solutions we can find for you. And if you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our e-newsletter and you'll never miss another podcast or video again. This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com. Thank you for listening.